Hey, welcome to another edition of Golf at the Lakes. My name is Chris Smith and I'm with Bob Gordon. Yes. Good morning, Bob. How are you? Good. Go Bob ahead. is the chairman of the Pine to Palm Golf Tournament and you're entering your 78th year. Correct. Correct. On August uh, 9th through the 15th this year. August 9th through the 15th. And Bob's been the chairperson for nine years and getting plenty of help from your wife. Right. I wouldn't do it without somebody helping me do, especially the registration part and some of the, the prelim stuff we need to do before the tournament. And then from there down, you've got quite a staff too. We have 20 some on our committee, uh, plus numerous volunteers that help us the week of the tournament. So yes, we have a lot of people, it takes a lot of people to run a tournament of 450 plus players. 450 plus players <clears throat> come into town in mid-August, that's uh, quite a boost to the economy here. In fact, we were say? just talking about that the other night, it's got to be, and you know, it's Golfers are great people. You know, they come, they're going to stay here for the week. They come to enjoy the week, enjoy the golf course, play golf and do other things, and it's got to be a big boost for our town. Yeah, so the hotels are full and the restaurants are full, and, yeah, they, they're enjoying DL for a week. Right. And you hope they could play all week, but some of them get eliminated, so talk some, about that. Some of them do because we, what we do is we have a qualifier, and some of them it's a one-day qualifier, some two. And then we put them in match play, and then match play starts, and they'll get two matches, win or lose, and then they're done. So it, it narrows down as the week goes on. Okay, and so they start on Monday the 9th. On the Monday, Monday, some of our seniors and flights qualify. Our championships start on Tuesday, and then they go again on Wednesday. And then some flights on Tuesday, some on Wednesday. And Wednesday night, if you haven't been out here, if you're around DL, you should come out and watch. We have playoffs. We have the pairings get, being done. It's kind of a crazy night. I always say after you get done on Wednesday, it's kind of downhill. You watch the matches and watch the tournament just kind of run by itself. It flows all the way through Sunday afternoon. All the way through Sunday. All the championship matches are on Sunday. And, you know, just to tell the audience here that the average to better player still could play in the Pine to Palm because it's based on handicap, well, except for the championship. Well, player. it isn't based on handicap because you qualify. So, but. for example, our championship field, start and we let 16 year olds and I know we have some local ones that are younger than that that would love to play that can't right now yeah but it's 16 and over and they qualify so they come in and their handicap might be a certain handicap but they might shoot higher or lower than it but they're placed by what they shoot and they're qualifying yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping to get the point across that we're trying to recruit golfers here that it's it's just not for the zero handicap. It's for people that just want to play a little bit of tournament golf that week and Correct. see how they stand. Correct. We have people, in fact, in registration that have played 40 years in this tournament. And, you know, so we have divisions from championship, which, granted, are their best are players or the better players in the country. They're from all over the country. We have flights, which more is by handicap. Your first flight are going to be good players that shoot even par or so on. And then down, you know, so they get placed by how they shoot and it doesn't matter about a handicap. And you did sp speak about the seniors and we start that, uh, the senior division at what age? Okay, 55 and over seniors and we've also added a, a super senior, 65 and older, which has really been popular this year. People, again, those are the people who played 35, 40. We've had some that played 50 years that are registered to play again. And what's made Pine to Palm so historic in this area, name some of the name players that have won the championship or well, played here. You know, Played in the one that didn't quite get here was Tiger Woods. It was close because one of his teammates, when he was at Stanford, came to play, was going to bring a buddy of his along, and then he qualified for a US AM or something and wasn't able to come. But, you know, Chris Perry, who's played on a professional tour, Tom Lehman, actually was one that snuck in under 16 on a different name to qualify, and we didn't know about that until later. So, you know, there's those types of people who have played along with a lot of college tremendous players. Yeah, it's not that it's turning into a college event, but boy, the college guys love to load up and come here, don't they? They do, you know, and it's it's actually gotten, I think, even younger than the college age because our 16, 17, 18-year-old players that are high school players are phenomenal players, and our field now, championship, I'm going to say 80%, 25 and younger. Okay. It's a resume builder if you win Pine to Palm. It is. You know, you got some local, Kane Hansen playing mm -hmm. professionally right now, David Schultz playing on Nationwide Tour. You know, Tom Hoagie won it last year, a great player out of Fargo. So, you know, Chris Broughton, a good DL player. Tim Tingle said some of the local people have done well. But it is, you get to the Sunday in any match, I, I think you're a good player. And Amy Anderson, your first female player. Amy get, Anderson played last year, yep. And got to uh, matches yep, all she, the way to yep, the she played final, sets, Yeah, she got beat by the champion on, in, on Saturday. So how, do the, how does everybody register? Let's uh... okay, you can register a couple of ways. We send out stuff to everybody who's played the last three years. You go on our website, probably the quickest way, DetroitCountryClub.com. 
click on the Pine to Palm link. It shows you how to online register. Also, you can download a form, and you can do it either one that way. Plus, right now, we have daily. We're updating who is playing so they can see what's available and what times are available for them. So the website's the best way to go, but it just give us a phone number. They could maybe okay. contact you. Well, they could call 847 to, uh, the cough shop 5790, five, seven, nine, zero. Yeah. or they can call my home 847 2218 and they can get, uh, we can send an entry out to them. They can drop it off here at the country club. Somebody today just came in, he filled it out right here, just left it, and I pick it up daily. Because of Bob and his staff, it's a great, great tournament in August, the Pine to Palm Golf Tournament. Come out and watch or sign up today. That's another edition at Golf at the Lakes. Golf at the Lakes is sponsored by Balmoral Golf Course Battle Lake. Blueberry Pines Golf Club, Monaga, Detroit Lakes Country Club, and Lakeview Golf Course, Detroit Lakes. Headwaters Golf Club, Park Rapids. Perm Lakeside Golf Club, Perm. Professional Golfers of America. Bumper Pond in Ottertail. And Wildflower at Fair Hills.